Welcome back. The City of Richland believes a strong parks and recreation system is essential to a thriving community. Our health, our community, our economy, and our environment all benefit from investments in parks and recreation. In support of this stance, the City of Richland currently boasts an amazing 2,500 acres of beautiful parkland. Our diverse park system features athletic fields, playgrounds, off-leash dog parks, extreme sports facilities, and miles of trails and open spaces. Currently, the city is looking at adding some much-needed landscaping improvements to our four-and-a-half-mile-long Keene Road Trail Corridor. At a recent public meeting, Parks and Recreation staff met with the public to learn what park amenities and landscaping improvements residents felt would enhance and complement the existing trail. This trail is actually about four and a half miles long through the, the Richland portion of it. Mm -hmm. So we're looking to put in um, park benches anywhere from a quarter to half a mile. Drinking fountains were needed, so we'd have drinking fountains basically at every mile. The one thing that came up that I, I was kind of surprised at was the new fitness, there's outdoor fitness um, activity centers you can get. Um, that some people, they do them in groups of three or four or up to six of them in one grouping that they have, you know, they mimic uh, recumbent bikes, um, just treadmills even, stair steppers, things like that, that you can get these little machines that are meant for outdoor use. So it was brought up and pretty much everybody liked the idea of putting those, maybe two or three of them in groups or just scattering them, you know, maybe we do that wherever there's a drinking fountain, we put one or two exercise stations. Several people had the concern because this is a long trailway with not many trees through the corridor the one thing we want to do is develop a tree canopy. As subdivisions develop adjacent to the trailway, they look at the possibility of, hey, what could we do in the trail? Could we use some of that for landscaping and so forth? What could the city do for landscaping? Yeah. So the, the main thing was get together, get see what the people adjacent to the property want, some of the developers, the, the homeowners associations, they all had input. The area between the, the existing Keene Road up to the trail, um, it's pretty much of a storm drainage ditch. So the city would kind of develop that portion with um, storm drainage ditches, plant some trees and so forth, put in crushed rock to make it a little nicer so it's just not weeds growing and so forth. Mm -hmm. Then the property between the trailway and the property owners would be, um, we'd try to enter an agreement with them. If they would like to landscape it, they can do that at, at their cost. Um, they would maintain the section in front of their property, but we've, we've come up with like three or four different tiers of how they could landscape that. So everything, you know, if they want to do it nice and simple as far as just some crushed rock and trees, they can do that. They can add some native vegetation, um, landscape it, maintain it that way. Or they could go to the full blown of, of putting a nice grass turf with trees and so forth to the landscape. If you missed the public meeting but would like to voice your suggestions to Parks and Recreation staff, you can do so by calling Dave Bryant at 942-7507 or by emailing him using the email address at the bottom of your screen. Staff will discuss the suggested improvements at the March 10th Parks and Recreational meeting, and the final proposal will go before Richland City Council on April 5th. Of course, both of these meetings are open to the public.